Hello everyone, Russell Holden with Render Plus Software. Today I'd like to spend a few minutes introducing you to a new feature of iRender Next version 7, support for IES lighting profiles. If you're interested, there's lots of technical information on IES profiles available to you at renderplus.com and certainly elsewhere on the internet. I thought it would be more interesting to show you the effects that IES lighting profiles can have on your completed renderings. I have a very simple little model constructed and as you can see two spotlights pointing down. These spotlights are were entered originally as lighting with the distribution set to an angle of 30 degrees and producing this rendering which is a very nice rendering. It's mathematically correct based on the settings for the lighting. The benefit to IES lighting profiles is that these profiles establish the distribution of light based on specific fixtures. To make it convenient for you to use IES lighting, iRender Next version 7 includes 30 presets. 30 different lighting profiles. So if you're an architect or an interior designer and you have an idea about the distribution of light for the space, but don't have a specific fixture in mind just yet, it's very easy to select a specific profile from the presets that we provide. I happen to like for my model number 19, this is what it looks like up close. And so what I'd like to do is switch this downlight from an angled 30 degree to a specific IES profile. And if you remember, I selected profile number 19. So here's the 30 degree angled spotlight. And now here is IES profile 19, which is going to come a lot closer to matching a specific fixture from a manufacturer. Many lighting manufacturers supply IES profiles from their catalogs. For example, this is the Lithonia catalog online. And once I've selected a specific downlight, their website also provides access to the IES profile for this fixture which I can download. And then once downloaded, let's set the profile to that downlight that I just selected. This time, instead of typing in a profile, what we're going to do is we're going to actually load a file. Now, when you're browsing through a manufacturer's catalog and you selected a profile, there is available free on the internet an IES profile viewer. If you'd like a link to this, look for it at renderplus.com. This is free, and once you download any IES profile, you can open up this viewer, and it will even render for you the distribution of the light. So again, here is the original spotlight at a 30-degree angle. Here's the spotlight with, the, with a selected profile from the 30 that we provide. And lastly, here is the final rendering with the Lithonia downlight profile. Even though the distribution of light looks fairly similar to the 30 degree angle light, you'll notice quite a lot of difference in the quality of lighting in the rendering. IES lighting profiles are even more realistic in the distribution of light. Use any of the 30 IES profiles provided with iRender Next, or go straight to a manufacturer's catalog to select specific fixtures, and then take advantage of the free IES profiles that are provided. That's a quick introduction to IES lighting profiles. I'm Russell Holden with Render Plus Software. Come look for another video and some helpful tips on iRender Next real soon. Thanks.